Hi guys, glad to have you back again to another episode of Shape It Till You Make It. And today it's getting really, really complicated. No, just kidding. If you know Aspiricon by now, you should know that all our elements are super easy to handle and super easy to install. So let's check and see how the wave adapt works and how we install this little guy. And if you followed our last episode, you already know that all beam expanders are designed for only one wavelength. If you want to use it away from this wavelength, use the wave adapt. And now let's see how this little guy works. The setup consists of three beam expanders for 532 nanometers. And I now have two lasers today with me. But first, turn on the laser with the green laser light appropriate for our beam expanders. The beam expander is designed in a way that the wavefront is diffraction limited even if it propagates through five of those and there's no divergency. So if we check, we have an about eight to nine millimeters beam here and now we should go a bit more in the distance. You could even go further to check this and it's the same size here. Can you see that? It's all the way the same size. It doesn't change. If you would now use these beam expanders away from its design wavelength, you should see a divergency and a distortion in the wavefront. So let's turn on a red laser and see what happens. If I do now check the size, I have about 10 millimeters here, very close to the beam expanders, and about 13, 12 to 13 millimeters in the distance. If you would go further, you would see this increasing even more. So the beam will be bigger and bigger as further as you go. And to adjust the beam expanders, we now use the wave adapt. To install it, use an adapter, install it, Important is that the wave adapt is always positioned at the largest magnification. If you would use another beam expander to decrease the beam in reverse, it has to be in between. Let's turn on the, the red light again. All right, it still looks a bit the same what we had, what we saw before. About 10 millimeters here and about 12 millimeters here. We do now have this adjustment ring. So let's see what happens if we turn it. Can you see it change? It's getting smaller. And I would say that even with the naked eye, you can see that the beam itself looks nicer now. Now I have it about 10 millimeters here and about 10 millimeters here. So we have found our correct position to adjust the beam expanders to a different wavelength away from its design wavelength. Super easy, super cool. So if you are not using our beam expanders with the aspherical where you could adjust the wavelength as well, if you use it with other standard collimators, you can use the wave adapt to adjust it to a certain wavelength range. If you have questions or suggestions, just leave your notes in the comment field below. I really hope you liked this video and I really hope I see you next time. So thanks for watching. Stay excited. Tschüss. Shape it till you make it.